Okay, so the iPhone 12 mini, guess what? It's pretty awesome. Hey guys, welcome to Retether Tech. My name is Jonathan and this is the review of the iPhone 12 mini. I've had it for about three weeks now and I still love it, but it's not perfect. So let's talk about some of the negative things, some of the positive things, and some of the things that might make you hesitant about buying this phone. And let's start off with one of the biggest things, or actually it's one of the smallest things literally, but it ends up not being such a big deal. Let me explain. The battery. Battery life is probably one of the biggest things for most people when they're buying a smartphone. And this phone literally has one of the smallest batteries you will find in any flagship phone today. It's a 2,227 milliamp hour battery. It's a mini battery literally a mini battery. When you compare it to other smartphones, other modern smartphones, it has a really small battery in comparison. But battery life hasn't been as bad as I expected it to be. Apple has done a really good job with the battery life in the iPhone 12 mini. I don't know if it's the A14 Bionic chip inside the iPhone 12 mini or iOS 14, but I'm getting about five to six hours of screen on time, which isn't amazing, but it's a lot better than I thought I was gonna get with this battery size. Now, if battery life is a huge thing for you and you need a smartphone that just gives you the best battery life possible, don't look at the iPhone 12 mini. There's other smartphones that do a much better job, but for the battery capacity, for the size of this battery, the size of this phone, it does a pretty decent job. It's gonna get you through a full day, no problem. Another negative thing, but it's kind of a positive thing as well, is the size of this phone. I love the size of this phone. It feels so good in the hand. You can use this phone with one hand. It's a one-handed smartphone. It's a truly one-handed smartphone. But the size of this phone does get some getting used to. For example, the keyboard on this phone. Because this phone has such a smaller display compared to other smartphones, the keyboard is much smaller than I was used to. And I was constantly messing up when I was trying to type a message because I'm used to a bigger phone with a bigger keyboard. And I'm finally getting used to using this smaller keyboard. So it isn't a huge deal, but it's something. Also, because of the smaller phone, you also have a smaller display and that took some getting used to as well. Because of the smaller display, it just isn't as nice to watch movies or TV shows on this phone. And also because of the smaller form factor, the speakers also seem to be a bit smaller on this phone as well, at least when you compare it to other larger smartphones. They still sound great, there's dual speakers in this phone, but they don't get quite as loud as the other iPhones or the previous iPhones do. And I'm guessing because of the size, they just couldn't put as loud of a speaker or as big of a speaker inside the iPhone 12 mini. Other than that, I love the size of this smartphone. It's so nice to finally use a smartphone that you can actually use with one hand. It kind of brings you back to a simpler time, right? When six, seven years ago, when phones just weren't as big as they are now, it was just easier to use them. You put them in your pocket, you took it out. It was just easy to use. They just worked. And that's what this phone is. Because of the size, because of the design, it easily fits in my pocket. I can take it out when I need to. I can use it quickly. And it's just a pleasure to use this phone. But now let's get into the other positive things about the iPhone 12 mini. Let's start off with the display. And I already talked about how this display is smaller than most other flagships. And that's true. But I have to say something. The display on this phone is great. I am so happy that Apple decided to put their Super Retina XDR display inside all of their iPhone 12 models because it is a great looking display. It's a full HD, bright display, colors pop, and because this display is so great, I kind of wish the display somehow folded out and became a bigger display, if that was possible. Hopefully soon, Apple hopefully soon. Performance on this phone is what you would expect. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. It has an A14 Bionic chip inside, it runs iOS, it performs great. It's speedy, it's quick, it's reliable. It's an iPhone. It's what you would expect from any iPhone. The camera. 
it's amazing. And we kind of already expected that with the iPhone 12 models. It has a dual camera system out back, a wide and ultra wide camera sensor. In fact, it has the same camera sensors as the more expensive iPhone 12 Pro. The only difference between the iPhone 12 Pro's camera system and the iPhone 12 mini's camera system is the iPhone 12 Pro has an extra telephoto lens and a LiDAR sensor. That's it. But the iPhone 12 mini is able to capture great photos. Portrait mode on this phone is spectacular. It even does a great job with more difficult subjects. Look how great it did with this curly hair. It's not easy to keep that hair in focus while blurring the background, but it does a fantastic job at doing it. Video is also great on this phone. Stabilization is clean and the audio experience when capturing video is top notch. The microphones inside this phone is able to capture crisp audio. So using the iPhone 12 mini to capture video is kind of a no brainer. iPhones have always been great to capture video and the iPhone 12 mini does a better job than I expected. In fact, just in case you didn't notice, I'm actually using the iPhone 12 mini to capture this video. Ever since I started talking about the camera, I started using the iPhone 12 mini's camera to record this video and the audio. I'm not using any other microphones. This is the microphone inside the iPhone 12 mini. But now let's move on from the iPhone 12 mini's camera. And for that, we're gonna move back to my other camera for the rest of the video. Okay, we're back to my other camera and I have the iPhone 12 mini here with me. Look, I was skeptical about the iPhone 12 mini. I was always a big phone person. I preferred a phone with a bigger display on it. So when I thought about going to the iPhone 12 mini, I wasn't sure I was gonna like this type of phone with such a smaller display. But once you use it, it's kind of hard to now go back to a bigger phone. It's so easy to use this smartphone. It brings me back once again to a simpler time. That doesn't mean that this phone is for everyone. You might prefer a bigger phone. You might prefer a bigger display. You might need a phone with a bigger display. But when I use this iPhone 12 mini, it reminds me of the iPhone 5 days. That was my favorite iPhone, iPhone 5, iPhone 4. The design of this phone and all the iPhone 12s is very similar to the iPhone 5. It has those flat edges, it has Apple's new industrial look. I love the design of this phone and the other iPhone 12 models. But when you use this phone with this design, along with the size that this phone has, it just brings me back to those iPhone 5 days. When the iPhone 5 was released, there was bigger phones with bigger screens, bigger displays, bigger batteries, but the iPhone 5 was just so easy and nice to use. And that's kind of like the iPhone 12 mini. It's not the biggest smartphone you can buy. The display is smaller than most. The battery life isn't great, but when you use it, you know. Hopefully that makes sense. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review of the iPhone 12 mini. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.